Hey guys, welcome to the start of my series of violin tips and advice. I hope you guys are all having a great start to the new year. I've got a lot of different goals that I've set for myself for this year, and one of them is definitely to post more often to this second channel here, and especially to start posting some violin tutorials, tips and advice videos, because a lot of you guys have been requesting this for a long time now, and so I'm excited to finally feel like I have the time and the focus to get something out there for you guys and to start posting these on a regular basis for you. In this first video, I just kind of want to talk to you guys about what kinds of videos I'm thinking of making for this tips and advice series, and then also to get some feedback from you guys as to what kinds of videos you would most like to see from me. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about who these videos are going to be for and what you guys can expect to get out of them because I'm going to be posting some that are for very basic beginners and then some that I hope that will help anyone at any level and then some that are just kind of more fun informational ones that are more personal to me so I'll show you guys like my entire violin collection and talk to you guys about my different violins and what's in my violin case, uh, some of my favorite violin accessories, just things like that that I think that most people might be interested in whether or not you do actually play the violin. I see a lot of messages and comments from people who said that they were inspired to start taking violin lessons because of my videos and I can't tell you guys how much that means to me because um, it's something that I never thought I would be doing to begin with. I never thought that I was going to have any type of career in music. So to think that I'm able to not only do what I love for a living but also inspire other people to follow their passions or just learn something new that they're enjoying and that is bringing them joy, like that makes me so happy and so um, I'm just really excited to kind of give back a little bit to that part of the community that is feeling inspired from my playing and hopefully you guys will find these videos useful. <laughs> I already have a list of a couple of different topics and videos that I want to start out with and the number one most asked question is probably what type of violin should I buy? So I'm going to do my first video completely as an overview of choosing a violin, uh, what you guys should be looking for, just overall tips to try and help you guys make a good decision for your first instrument. And then I'm also going to talk to you guys about the various accessories that you're going to want to have with that violin, so a case, bow, shoulder rest, chin rest, all that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to pay attention to your guys' comments on all of these violin tips videos and see what kind of stuff you guys would like to see next. I'm really excited to get this started with you guys. I really hope that this can be an extra resource for you. I mean, I personally do not have all the answers by any means, you know. I am a professional, this is what I do for a living, but I am not the final authority on any of this stuff, so I just wanna make sure that I say that to you guys. Uh, what works for me might not be the advice that you receive from your teacher, if that's, you know, if you're taking private lessons, or, you know, there might be different opinions online about certain things. So I'm just going to tell you guys what works for me and my experiences. But it's always best to experiment yourself and look at whatever other resources are out there so you can kind of just make an informed decision with anything that you're doing. So this is just my perspective and my experiences and my opinions on all of this stuff. So I just kind of want to say that as a big disclaimer. I hope you guys are having an awesome week and I will talk to you again very soon.